Hello my friends, I'm Duchess and welcome to my YouTube channel. This week I'm going to be drawing in little backgrounds for my webtoon as well as talking about some thoughts that I've been having as a webtoon canvas creator. Let's get started. Just recently I've been feeling really motivated to do my to work on my webtoon and I've been speeding through my working process. I usually take one to two months to complete a whole episode of my webtoon but I only took three weeks to complete episode 10, which was the latest episode that I made. While I was experiencing this frenzy, I did not draw many backgrounds for it at all. In fact, I only drew an establishing shot and left it at that, so every other background for all the other panels were just a solid color. I've made videos where I talk about the importance of drawing backgrounds. Having backgrounds is important so that the readers can really visualize where the characters are at and it just really sets the mood. So not too long ago I made a deadline for myself because I wanted to work quickly and make as much as I could within a short period of time and so I left out all the other backgrounds for the last few episodes. I've been somewhat prioritizing the amount of content that I make over the quality, over the quality of it which is not something that I want to do because I do value quality over quantity. A kind reader actually helped me realize this just last week. I really appreciate you mentioning this to me because I haven't, I hadn't really thought about it on my own. So yeah, thank you. So this week I decided to try to spend a little more time drawing backgrounds for my webtoon. To be honest, I'm not feeling very motivated to work on it lately because I had a frenzy for the last month. I'm feeling a bit worn out, so the backgrounds that I made for this upload are not super pretty. I could have made it better and neater, but it was kind of tough for me, plus it included chairs and tables, and I'm pretty terrible at drawing chairs and tables. The chairs that I'm actually drawing today are actually some of my better looking chairs, so yeah, I definitely need to work on that. It'll probably improve throughout my webtoon journey, so I'm not too worried about it. For backgrounds, I think it's okay if it's not super neat and professional. The characters are really the main focus, but I should spend more time on them just to make it look extra nice. I also was thinking about using 3D models for my backgrounds instead. I have looked it up before or quite a few times and I was always kind of confused by them and I didn't really know where to access them or how to get them or use them. Since I don't make money from my art or my webtoon, I don't really want to invest in a program that I'll have to pay for every month or year. So if I do decide to start using a 3D model program, I'll have to find something that doesn't charge me for it. So yeah, good luck to me. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys use 3D models or if you guys draw your backgrounds by hand or if you don't do any of those, which ones do you prefer? I really think 3D models would be so nice and super convenient for my webtoon, but I also feel like it might be more difficult. I'm pretty sure you have to learn how to move things around and customize it to your liking. I'm not sure since I have zero experience, but I'll definitely let you guys know and make a video on that if I decide to check it out. Another thing that I was reminded of while I was working on this episode was that I'm not good at drawing perspective. Honestly, I'm not good at a lot of things. I really just enjoy drawing people and expressions, so I never spent time learning a lot of the other important art concepts. For making webtoons, it's also important to understand perspective. I think drawing from different angles makes the reading experience more enjoyable. For perspective, I do sometimes change the point of view or slightly tilt the perspective or draw it from like a side angle. I don't really do anything more than that because otherwise it will look terrible and like I have no idea what I'm doing so I just rather not. I can just practice it on my own time and if I get decent enough at it then I will probably use that in my webtoon. I know that there are a lot of art concepts that I need to work on and improve on so I will continue to learn and grow. I hope all of you aspiring artists don't feel discouraged with where you are at and feel like there's just so much that you need to work on. Of course there, there is so much room for improvement but it's just important to remember not to compare yourself with others 
Everyone is going at their own pace and everyone's at their own level, so it's unfair to compare yourself in that way. Just take things at your own pace, keep learning, and you'll grow as an artist. The only person that you really need to compare yourself to is your past self because you always want to be doing better than what you have done before. So as long as you are improving, you are doing amazing. That's also something that I often have to remind myself. So this is a reminder for all of you and for me. I didn't get that much done for this comic strip and I only did the line art for the background. I'm a bit behind, but that's okay. I decided that was enough work for the day because it was getting really late and so I just put my pencil down and took some time to rest. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys this week. If you guys enjoyed this week's video or learned something new, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next week.